What is up guys, it is Money Shark Gaming here, so uh, if you saw my last video, I did give you guys a little pack opening yesterday of some of my Hot Champs rewards, uh, I told you guys I would do a pack opening early on today, today's uh, Thursday and I told you guys early on Thursday I'm going to give you guys a NHL point pack opening and I'll probably do my rewards pack opening uh, Friday morning, if not Thursday night, I'm going to try to get it done tonight uh, when I get home from work. You know, I wouldn't, you know, hold my head to it or uh, put money on it, but, you know, it is most likely that even if I do get the pack opening done tonight, the rewards packs, it will probably be uploaded tomorrow. Um, so I figured why not, I'll treat you guys to an NHL points pack opening. I got paid today, so it's a good day to, everything kind of just worked out perfectly anyway, so... I got 7,400 NHL points. I didn't want to go all in for the 13,000. I felt like 7,400 is like the perfect balance. Uh, let's just give you guys a little storage set update. Barber and McDavid are going to be used as fodder. I'm hoping to use that free Giroud as fodder too for team of the year. Zaka, obviously, I'm going to hold on to. And the rest, these are just MSPs that I'm keeping for collectibles. And, you know, some of these guys might get team of the seasons that I may be interested in, like Marner. Uh, he sure, uh, Fox, I mean, these Hughes, even, you know, Hughes, I'm going to keep just in case it gets the 99 or whatever, since it's kind of a three horse race for the Calder right now between Hughes, Carlson and Bedard, uh, Taves, probably not going to get a team of the season, but you never know. Gudis definitely isn't. Kachuk might, um, I always give you guys a storage set update, you know, why not? I'll just add that to the video. And, uh, if you haven't seen my videos lately, my, my goal by the end of this week is to get the damn Gretzky. I mean, we're so close, and I'm just sick and tired of having these 85s in my collection that I'm not using worth about 100k a piece. It's like 600k worth of guys in my collection just untradeable, not being used on my team. And when I got, when I built some of these guys, they were going for like 150k, obviously, after the Icon pack, the 85 Icon pack or whatever, the price of these guys dropped. But uh, we're one quarter of the Richard set, and we need to redo this Henrik City instead. I might end up just buying them outright. So hopefully these NHL points get us Gretzky today. Um, ideally, our first line by the end of the week is X-Factor Panarin with, um, what's his name? X-Factor Panarin with Gretzky and X-Factor McDavid. So as you can see, X-Factor McDavid's in the slot. He still needs some power-ups. Um... I just slot him in there for now. Obviously, the 89 McDavid's probably more useful. But I just figured, why not? Hurdle, like I said, my goal is to bump him down. And Larkin ends up going to the X-Factor reroll set. So, yeah, we got this line. The Red Wings alumni line, Sweden alumni line. Sundin's just here for objectives purposes. I eventually would like to replace him with the Global Series Nylander here. But I'm going to wait for Nylander's price to drop more as well. And this line's just whatever. Defense still the same. And goaltending still the same. Why fix what's not broken? The only goaltender, like I said in my last video, that I'd want is X Factor Sorokin. Um, this is the only goal I'm really interested in purchasing right now. But enough talking. You guys came here for the pack opening. I'm treating you guys today. I'm treating myself today as well. So let's see what our best option is. This is obviously the one that's worth doing. 13% um, chance of getting an 86 as well. Obviously, it's all untradeable. What I really want is the power-ups from this. Uh, captains, you're guaranteed 5, and you have a 50% chance of pulling an 85. It is untradeable. Same with this one. Um, I was interested in both these packs. I was originally going to buy the 6250 Microsoft points, so I bought an extra 1050 uh, in case I wanted to open up an extra one of these, and I think that's what I really wanted to do, anyways. So this one's interesting. You have a greater chance of pulling an 88 captains. I'm into buying more points, honestly. Um, ultimate choice packs always tempting. This one's untradeable. I don't know why they still charge you the 2,500 points. Usually it's 2,800 points for these. So really, only a three. 100 point discount for an untradeable version, but could be used for Team of the Year fodder. Um, they're always fun to open, anyways. This pack, 
might be better value than this one because this one's a guaranteed 83 plus um, and it's double the price of this one where this one you have a 23% chance at 84 5% chance at 86 yeah I mean this one you're at least guaranteed the 83 um, probably open two of these as well we'll start with the little puck drop off these ones are always fun Appreciate you guys tuning in. Power up. 82. Power up. Last time we opened up one of these, we got something pretty good. If I can remember, I just... I think we got the Big David out of this. And we got a 84, so that's good for fodder. <coughs> my bad for the cough. Um, If you guys hear me slurping, I just I have my coffee right here. Like I said, I just woke up, so... A long day of work yesterday, so... I figured I'd get this done over with. We'll rip the ultimate choice pack. You know, you can never go wrong with these. Kopitar. Kairu. Kreider. Purple. We're at a... Ooh! Oh, shit! Oh, my goodness. We got a heck of a player on our hands here. Well, we found Jeru's replacement. Or Larkin's. 86 face-off? Holy smokes. Because the other... I was interested in his 87 and 88 and 89 card earlier in the year, but his face-offs were so crap. But the fact that I have the versatility now to put him on the wing or at center, and you have the choice to use him as a sniper or a playmaker and shooting boost too. What a card. Right off the bat, first round, that rarely happens. Usually you get a good pick anywhere from rounds three to um, five. But, man, I think the best pull we got in this first or second round was that Zaka. Just making sure I made the right choice. Yeah. Don't want to accidentally choose fucking Chris Kreider. With all due respect to Chris Kreider. Hopefully they made these packs better. I mean, they already... Did in some sense. It was better than the choice pack we got yesterday that was tradable. And we get an 87 untradable. Wow. What a pack. Okay. That's some really good fodder for Team of the Year. So far, two of the three have hit. So two for four. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. What did the fox say? <laughs> oh man, this is that was a really good pack. That was actually a really good pack. We still got our rewards later too for squad battles and freaking um Rivals. Oh, this one's really tempting. <coughs> this is greater chance pack, but well, I'll tell you what. I was originally going to open up one of these, but I honestly couldn't give a crap. Now, I think there's honestly better packs to open than that. So we'll start with these ones, the guaranteed 80. If we have points left over, we'll open up one of these. But after seeing the new rack of packs, um, I'm kind of not really interested in... Uh, well, this one, it's just this one, you're guaranteed the 85, so it's guaranteed, like, at least 25k or however much these 85 captains go for worth. Uh, it's, it's basically a guaranteed free, not free, obviously, you pay for points, but it's a guaranteed at least 30k profit in this pack, considering everything else, worst case scenario. Uh, all the other players, like, yeah, it's 25 players, so you pull 
an 85 cap this card and a bunch of other players. So worst case scenario, you're walking away with like 35k with this pack. Whereas this one, it's just a greater chance. Okay, we'll start off with the 82 pack and then we'll see what we have left. Okay, there's our 82. Yeah. Kind of came as advertised. Kind of regret spending the coins on that. It was all fodder anyway. Anyways. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Hopefully this one delivers. And about the microphone, I'm working on it, guys. I'm just trying to figure out what's the best microphone to buy. I mean, this microphone that I have right now is supposed to be good, and it's been absolute kind of horse crap. There's our 83, and yeah, those packs were absolute horse crap. Because I, I was looking at this microphone at EB Games, where it's like not attached to the headset, but it's more of like just like a real kind of stationary microphone, like a podcast microphone, but it actually works for gaming too. So, definitely tempting. I'll tell you what. I'm going to probably get an extra... Yeah, I'm going to get another um, thing of points. If the screen's blank, I'm just getting more points right now. I rarely do these point pack openings anyways. Well, not rarely, rarely, but not as much as other YouTubers. Like, I maybe do this once every two weeks to a month. Hopefully it registers, or we'll have to sign out. Maybe we'll have to sign out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's synchronized. Yeah, we're going to rip one of these. I just figured, why not? Just freaking for the boys, right? I don't want to regret not opening one of these. I was like, we can either open up one or the other. I was like, you know what, screw it. We already got our pull with the Pedersen. Honestly, I'm starting to think we would have been better off just two ultimate choice packs, but it is what it is. Can't complain, we did get our purple. Okay, this is a card that I really wanted to build. Th that is a good pull. That is actually a good pull. Rehagi takes a lot of shots. And this one is based on shots, so I'm going to keep him in the trade pile. I was a little bit disappointed with the game day cards um, from last night. Manson was the only one who delivered. He is going straight to the trade pile. It wouldn't surprise me if Verhege has like an 88 or a 90. Okay. That was actually a good pack, considering we got Verhege. That's basically like a purple to me. So we do have enough for one more choice pack. But I'm going to go with the captain's choice pack. Uh, the captain's pack. Hopefully I don't regret it. Lindholm. Orlov. Samuelson. Crosby. Reinhardt. Okay, we got an 82 captain. Kucherov. Please be a captain. And no. No, 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 no. But 85s are always useful. I got a couple of those. Yeah, 
Yeah, we could just send him to the collection. Fuck it. We got Sid. The oh wait, no, that, not this guy. We got Sid the MFing kid. The flick of the wrist. Let's go. So, last pack. We have enough for one of these. Okay. We got this guy and we got this guy. Okay. <sighs> Just going to look at my bank account for one second and debate if it is worth <laughs> opening up one more choice pack. We're really debating this right now. Oh my goodness. I mean, I could. You know what? Looking back at it, I should have just bought the freaking... Actually, it would have been costed the same. So, I'm trying to debate how much it would have costed. Let me see. One second, guys. I'll tell you what. Is there any packs that are six fifty? I'm trying to think how much it would be to get one more ultimate choice pack. I'll tell you what. We're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go for it. Why not? I already wasted your guys' time checking my freaking bank account. There's money there. I can afford it. It's just, is it worth it? We're about to find out. Goodness, I should have honestly just bought the 13,000 points. Like, I, I really don't know why I didn't, but, you know, it is what it is. Looking back at it. Oh, well, here we go, guys. You get your ultimate choice pack. Actually, LA it's for team builder purposes. <clears throat> yeah. I might regret this decision. But fuck it. I mean, this is our last pack opening till team of the year, or maybe Christmas. Maybe Christmas, I might give you guys one more. But it's going to be. Our last paid pack opening until at least Christmas. Could be even team of the year, honestly. <laughs> okay, we got an 88. That's good fodder. Matt Miles Wood, I'll take it. Um, yeah. So, we got an 88, 85. I'll take it. And we still got one more. So, you know what? I think we can afford one of these Captain's Mix Packs. 
So everything kind of worked out, I guess. These packs are so freaking addicting. Like, I was gonna... When I hopped on, I was like, I'm not gonna get the freaking... Um... 13,000 points, and then this happens. Unbelievable. All right, well, guys, I'm going to log off for a second, and I'll be back with the team update. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back in a second. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm back. So we were not able to get Gretzky, as you can see here. We weren't even able to get the Richard set done. We, uh, we're two for four now, basically three, you know, considering we just need uh, seven more gold players. But after our rewards next week, uh, tomorrow, I am confident that we will get Wayne Gretzky. Like, I'm confident when I do my rewards pack opening, like I said, tomorrow or tonight, I am very confident that we'll get Wayne Gretzky on the team. Uh, yeah, so we're still six for eight, like we were at the beginning of the video. No big deal. Um, you know, Pedersen, you know, slides nicely. Uh, I was a little bit upset with myself that, you know, I didn't just buy the 13,000 points when I did the math. I spent basically two less dollars and I got like 18, no, like 1,700 less points. So that kind of sucks. You know, I could have, you know, for you guys it sucks and for me it sucks too, you know. Um, you know, I could have opened up an extra, you know, mega NHL players pack, but it's hard to complain when you pull a 90 overall Pedersen and get a bunch of really nice team of the year fodder like this. Like, Pedersen wasn't even our best, uh, Pedersen wasn't even our only purple. We got Hero Sinki, we got this guy, uh, Probert, we got McSorley, uh, we got a couple of those game day cards. I mean, this one, Miles Wood, I'm not sure how many shots he takes, but the Verhage one that's in the trade pile, I really, really wanted, so... Uh, obviously, the game day cards didn't really work as well as I thought they would last time, except for Manson. But, you know, uh, we got lots of power-ups. We got lots of uh, stuff out of this pack opening, so I can't really complain. We definitely got our money's worth. Uh, so why not show you guys the team, right? So Pedersen, he will eventually uh, replace Giroux once we get Gretzky. Um so yeah, that's, that's pretty exciting. You know, we found our Drew replacement. McDavid, we can finally juice him all the way. And we can afford to juice Gretzky when that time comes too, which is very, very exciting. I mean, look how many power-ups we got. I mean, how many how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 power-ups. Wait, no, that's 10. Yeah, freaking my counting is way off. Um, we could technically get more you know, if we wanted to, in our, uh, exchange sets or whatever, but I just, we also retracted Larkin, so that gave us some as well, so we get the shooting boost activated, that's pretty hype, so I guess Larkin had a shooting boost, I think Pedersen has shooting boost too, though, what's the face-offs on McDavid now, so Sniper, what does Sniper give you? Yeah, I think playmaking forward's the way to go. Pedersen's usually a two-way forward, but uh, I don't know where the playmaking boost is on. Yeah, shooting boost that makes him a way more deadly card. Oh my goodness! His only weak spot is his. It's not even a weak spot. His face-offs, I would say, are borderline good. Uh, they're not shit, but it's not like great either. Same thing with McDavid, but. McDavid definitely better have to down down the wing. Pedersen's just a very well-rounded card. I mean, 97 passing. I mean, his hands are just ridiculous. 96 deking, 99 offensive awareness, 93 hand-eye, 97 passing, 95 puck control, shooting 93 plus. Um, <coughs> ah, sneezed, bless me. Um, every stat is pretty much exceptional, except for his skating, which I would say is, I would give, I would say good, not great, but good. And his face-off, not great, but good. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything. this is a really good card. I mean, I'm really excited to use this. I'm really happy with the first line right now. 
uh, while we wait for Gretzky. Defense still the same. And the goaltending still the same too. So, yeah, I mean, that's that. Um, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the pack opening.